Howdy partners! Get ready for a wild ride through the untamed frontier with our hand-picked selection of 10 classic Western films, all available for free right here on YouTube. From gritty gunfights to heart-pounding showdowns, each movie promises to transport you back to the rugged landscapes and daring adventures of the wild, wild west. All right, folks, cinch up your saddles and dust off your boots, cause it's time to mosey on down the trail of Western legends. First up, we have Massacre Time, a gritty tale of revenge and redemption in the American West. Massacre Time transports viewers to 1866 Texas, where Django returns home to find his family ranch sold to the Scots and his brother struggling with alcoholism. Uncovering a plot by the Scots to seize local ranchers' lands, Django embarks on a mission to reclaim his heritage, blending mystery, drama, and intense gun battles. Starring Franco Nero, the film delivers gritty action and a charismatic performance. Its engaging plot, enhanced by stunning cinematography capturing the American West, keeps audiences captivated. Though pacing may falter, Nero's presence, coupled with well-crafted action and a compelling storyline, makes Massacre Time a must-watch for spaghetti Western enthusiasts. Next we have McClintock, a comedic twist on the classic Western. Calm down. Boss, he's just a little excited. I know, I know. I'm going to use good judgment. I haven't lost my temper in 40 years. But Pilgrim, you caused a lot of trouble this morning. Might have got somebody killed. And somebody ought to belt you in the mouth. But I won't. I won't. The hell I won't. McClintock stars John Wayne as wealthy rancher George Washington McClintock navigating personal and professional challenges amidst conflicts with the government, his sons, and a Native American tribe. When his estranged wife, Katie, returns seeking custody of their daughter, McClintock faces comedic yet touching situations. A departure from typical Westerns, McClintock blends humor, romance, and social commentary with finesse. John Wayne's portrayal of McClintock is both charismatic and versatile complemented by Maureen O'Hara's strong performance as his independent wife. The film tackles societal issues while maintaining a lighthearted tone, making it a delightful addition to the genre. Movie number three, Django's Cut Price Corpses, a thrilling chase through the desert as Django pursues a gang of bank robbers. In Django's Cut Price Corpses, Django embarks on a mission to rescue his abducted fiance from the notorious Cortez gang, who recently robbed a bank and are hiding out in a cave. Teaming up with a government agent named Fulton, they pursue the Cortez brothers through the rugged western landscape engaging in intense confrontations and shootouts. Django's Cut Price Corpses delivers thrilling action and high-stakes drama, keeping viewers engaged with its well-paced storyline and exciting set pieces. Solid performances and chemistry between the lead actors add depth to the narrative, while the cinematography captures the beauty of the Western landscape. While not groundbreaking, it's a highly entertaining and well-executed entry in the Western genre appealing to fans seeking gripping cinematic experiences. Movie number four, The Deadly Companions. An unlikely duo navigates the challenges of the frontier to bury a fallen loved one. Let me know when that Yankee's patient runs out. Never does wear out. The Deadly Companions follows Kit Tilden, determined to bury her son in a deserted town despite the dangerous Apache territory. She's joined by Yellowleg, an ex-army sergeant who's responsible for her son's accidental death. As they journey, they confront personal demons and Apache threats, exploring themes of redemption and human connection. The Deadly Companions is emotionally compelling, exploring grief, guilt, and redemption through powerful performances by Brian Keith and Maureen O'Hara. 
Deliberate pacing immerses viewers in the harsh realities of the American West, enhanced by stunning cinematography. While lacking in action, the film's character-driven narrative offers depth and insight into classic Western themes, making it an entertaining and memorable entry in the genre. Up next, we have The Nevadan. A federal marshal's pursuit of an outlaw leads to an uneasy alliance against a common foe. The Nevadan follows Federal Marshal Andy Barkley as he pursues outlaw Tom Tanner, believing he can lead him to stolen gold. Along the way, Barkley encounters ranch owner Karen Galt, sparking a romantic subplot. As Barkley and Tanner confront a gang seeking the gold, they must work together to secure it. Exploring themes of law and order in the American West, the Nevadan offers a compelling blend of action, drama, and romance, anchored by strong performances from Randolph Scott and Forrest Tucker. Well-paced and visually captivating, the film immerses viewers in the rugged beauty of the Western landscape. While not groundbreaking, it's an entertaining entry in the genre, with a compelling dynamic between the lawman and outlaw protagonists, making it a satisfying watch for Western fans. Movie number six. The Violent Men. A land dispute turns violent as a retired army officer faces off against a ruthless baron. The Violent Men. It's the tale of a greedy rancher and his quest for land. You're selling out, Captain. I'm going to run the anchor wall clear around the whole valley. Of a scheming woman and her thirst for power. Look at me when I talk to you. Of hired guns and hapless lawmen. There's no hunger like the hunger for land. Of peaceful settlers forced to take up The their Violent Men centers on ex-army officer Parrish, who plans to sell his land but faces complications when a powerful land baron offers a lower price. Tensions rise, leading to conflict and violence, as Parrish confronts the ruthless individuals vying for control in the American West. The Violent Men is a well-crafted Western exploring power struggles and the human cost of conflict. Strong performances from Glenn Ford and Edward G. Robinson drive the narrative, while balanced pacing keeps viewers engaged. Despite some contrived moments in the third act and dated portrayal of women characters, it's an entertaining film offering interesting insights into classic Western themes. Movie number seven, A Long Ride from Hell. Two brothers wrongfully imprisoned must fight for justice and survival. Here's my name's Max Freeman. I swear, I'll get the truth out of you. Listen, Sheriff, I'm Mike Sturgis from San Manuel. I don't know anything about the train holdup, my brother Roy and me, and one of my hands, were tracking down stolen horses. Sure you were. You believe them, don't you, Max? <laughs> tracking down stolen horses, eh? That's the best one I ever heard. <laughs> A Long Ride from Hell follows Mike Sturgis and his brother Roy, wrongfully convicted and sentenced to Yuma Penitentiary for a trumped-up train robbery. Enduring cruelty, Mike escapes to seek revenge on those responsible, exploring themes of wrongful conviction and redemption in the American West. Gritty and intense, A Long Ride from Hell showcases Steve Reeves' acting prowess beyond his physique. With balanced pacing and captivating cinematography, the film immerses viewers in the harsh realities of the Western landscape. While Reeves' performance shines, some supporting characters feel underdeveloped, and the climactic confrontation may not fully satisfy. Nonetheless, it's a solid entry in the spaghetti Western genre, offering an entertaining narrative worth watching for Western enthusiasts. Next, we have The Naked Hills. The allure of gold leads a farmer down a path of obsession and ruin. You just can't imagine what it was like when we got the news back home that gold was discovered in California. Folks near went crazy. They just picked up their belongings and headed west. Thousands of them, young and old. The Naked Hills follows Tracy Powell, an Indiana farmer consumed by the allure of gold after the California gold rush. Despite family ties, Powell's obsession drives him to abandon loved ones and pursue his elusive fortune, exploring themes of greed and the toll of unchecked ambition. 
The Naked Hills offers a cautionary tale on the destructive nature of greed, portraying protagonist Tracy Powell's descent into single-minded obsession with solid performances, particularly from David Wayne. Despite some pacing issues, the film's thematic depth and ambient cinematography make it a worthwhile addition to the Western genre, serving as a thought-provoking commentary on human nature and ambition. Next we have Ride Lonesome. A bounty hunter's quest for vengeance becomes complicated by shifting loyalties. Ride Lonesome follows bounty hunter Ben Brigade as he transports his prisoner, Billy John, with hidden intentions to capture Billy's outlaw brother, Frank. Along the way, they defend a frontier outpost and are joined by widow Mrs. Lane. As they journey through the western landscape, alliances shift and tensions rise among the characters. Ride Lonesome is a tightly plotted and suspenseful western, showcasing a talented cast led by Randolph Scott. With well-balanced pacing and interesting character dynamics, the film immerses viewers in the complexities of frontier life, while the cinematography captures the vastness of the Western landscape. The film's exploration of moral ambiguity adds depth to the characters, making it a standout entry in the genre. Movie number 10, Roundup Time in Texas. A family of ranchers must defend their homestead from a gang of diamond thieves. About Gene, by the time we get our claim recorded, he'll be in Dunbar with enough horses to supply the army. Cowboy Gene and Sidekick Frog travel to Dunbar, South Africa, to deliver horses for Gene's brother Tex, but they find Tex has disappeared after his mining partner Barclay was murdered. Saloon owner John Cardigan is the number one suspect, as he wants to take ownership of Tex's diamond mine. Gene and Frog team up with Barclay's daughter Gwen to investigate, navigating the South African landscape to uncover the truth and rescue Tex from the dangerous criminals. Roundup Time in Texas delivers a satisfying blend of action, adventure, and family drama, anchored by well-developed characters and strong performances. The camaraderie between Gene, Frog, and the Diamond Prospector drives the narrative. Complemented by well-paced action sequences, the film offers a classic Western tale of brotherhood and resilience, making it an enjoyable watch for fans of the genre. And that concludes our roundup of classic Western films. We hope you enjoyed the journey through the wild frontier and found a new favorite to watch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more epic adventures. Until next time, happy trails. And I'm out. Bye-bye.